Last year, one of the best gaming phones you could get was the Poco X3 Pro. The reason why it was one of the go-to phones when choosing a budget gaming phone was the price for the chipset you're getting. But the downsides to better performance, at least for me, were two things. The lack of 5G connectivity and the use of IPS LCD when cheaper smartphones were using AMOLED. One year later, we now have the successor, dubbed as the Poco X4 Pro 5G, now using an AMOLED display and a chipset that supports 5G. However, the price is now higher and the chosen chipset might leave some people scratching their heads if one is looking for a true overall upgrade of a phone. But before we get started, here's a short message from today's sponsor. CityKey Offers specializes in delivering cheap and legitimate software and game codes. If you ever need a Windows 10 Pro or a Microsoft Office key, you can buy one at a very cheap price. To do so, just visit CityKeyOffer.com. Search for Windows 10 and choose a suitable copy for you. But in my case, I always go for a professional copy. Before making a payment, make sure to type in the RC20 code for an exclusive 30% off discount. After that, you can choose your preferred payment method. You will receive the code via an email that redirects you to the website of CD Key Offer, and from there, you can get your Windows 10 key. Since my Windows 10 copy is already activated, I just can simply change my product key to the new one that I just bought. If you need a Microsoft Office key, the steps are pretty much the same. Just make sure to type in the RC20 code for an exclusive 30% off discount. City Key Offer provides permanently valid keys with 30 days of return and exchange period. You can check out more deals in the video description below. By the way, I bought this Poco X4 Pro from Xiaomi. So this phone is in no way sponsored by Xiaomi or anyone. And this is the top model with 8GB RAM and 256GB storage which costs 17,890 pesos. There is a 6GB, 128GB model that costs 16,990 pesos. But I highly recommend getting the top model since you're getting twice the storage and a bit more RAM for a little more cash. The unboxing experience of the X4 Pro 5G is pretty familiar. The plastic screen protector is already pre-installed and the charging brick now goes up to 67 watts, which is one of the highlights of this phone, but more on that later. Unlike last year's X3 Pro, the X4 Pro is now using a more square design. It's using edgier corners, a slightly thicker and heavier build, and just an overall square design that conforms to what other brands are using today, like Apple and Samsung. However, on paper, the X4 Pro is thinner and lighter than its predecessor. While that part is true, you'll definitely feel the heftiness of the squared frame as opposed to the fancier but more hand-friendly curvature of yesteryear's devices. Now, for the most part, the build quality of the X4 Pro is nearly unchanged. I mean, the body is still IP54 rated, the size is still the same at 6.67 inches for the display, and the port selection is complete, featuring the headphone jack and an IR blaster. You can also expand the storage through the hybrid microSD slot. But the most obvious change here is the design. You can see from the finish in the back and that huge camera visor. This design is unapologetic and is definitely a head-turner whether it's for the right or wrong reason. I honestly can't surely tell if the back is made of plastic or glass, but my guess is that the back and frame are still made of plastic as they don't have that hefty feel that real glass and metal usually provide. But I doubt the regular user would be able to tell the difference. Personally, I like the laser-like rays on the back, especially how they appear as if they are moving depending on how the light hits the back panel. But I'm not entirely sold yet on the blue color. The color is on the lighter side and easily reveals my fingerprints. That's probably the same case with a black model, but I think say that I like the camera visor in the back. I do appreciate Poco trying to separate themselves from the pack even when the X4 Pro is basically a rebranded version of the Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G which I will also discuss in a separate video, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel for that. But for the cameras, Poco has finally joined the 108 megapixel bandwagon. It's now using a large sensor that should let users capture photos and videos with better clarity, lower noise, and overall better quality. And that 108 megapixel sensor is also accompanied by an 8 megapixel ultrawide and 2 megapixel macro. 
On paper, the selfie camera seems to be a downgrade as the 20 megapixel selfie camera on the X3 Pro is now a 16 megapixel on the X4 Pro. We'll have to wait for the full review to see whether or not the new selfie cam is actually poor in quality. But one real downgrade I notice is the lack of 4K video recording in the back. I'm not sure what's the logic behind that, how Poco opted to exclude 4K video recording when the x Pro had the feature. It's definitely a bummer for enthusiasts out there, but on the flip end, the majority of smartphone users barely even know how to toggle 4K in the camera settings. But for the display, the Gorilla Glass 5 covered screen is now using AMOLED instead of IPS LCD. All the while keeping HDR10 support, 120Hz refresh rate, up to 1200 nits in HDR and up to 700 nits in SDR. This means compared to the XZ Pro, the X4 Pro is brighter, has punchier colors, and has a more immersive screen due to overall better quality. So that's great. What might be not great, but good, is the chipset, which is now the Snapdragon 695. To be clear, it's not the direct successor to the Snapdragon 860. It's a less powerful chip, but in exchange for power is the availability of 5G. So for speed, you're also getting speed, just not the typical speed you would expect. Based on initial benchmarks, this 695 is kind of an optimized version of the Snapdragon 720G. It's a bit faster, but it's not fast enough to rival the Snapdragon 860 in terms of raw performance. On the software side of things, the X4 Pro is running on MIUI 13 already. However, this version of MIUI is still based on Android 11 instead of the latest Android 12. The main difference is that you don't get the material you designed Google introduced at Google I.O. As to when that's gonna happen for the X4 Pro, there's no definite answer yet. Last but definitely not least is the 67W charger. So inside the box of the X4 Pro is a free 67W charger that fills up to 5000mAh battery in just 41 minutes. For short bursts of charging, the phone is capable of recharging up to 70% in just 22 minutes. This feature may not be as exciting as having newly developed cameras, but having that ultra-fast charging speed in a mid-range phone is still an amazing feature to have. But lest we forget, the X4 Pro is a rebranded version of the Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G, which is a device that's more deserving of the title as the successor, the successor of the highly successful Redmi Note 10 Pro. In a way, the X4 Pro is more like a replacement. Since Poco couldn't replicate what they did last year with the X3 Pro, they had to pick a phone from Xiaomi's inventory that's closest to what the X3 Pro offers, change a few things while adding 5G in the process, and then change the name and sell it as the X4 Pro. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, we don't know yet, but we will give our final verdict on our full reviews, so make sure to stay tuned for that. That's it, drop a sub or like if you feel supporting the channel, and until the next one, Stay safe.